So hello guys, my name is Siddhant and I am a student at Bennett University studying BTEC CSE. In today's video, I am going to tell you about a flight controller and under the topic I will be covering PIXOC. So first things first, what is PIXOC? PIXOC is an open source flight controller which has been going through a lot of development and trying and testing till now and many different versions of the Pixoc family are there in the market they are all based on a high level design which is called FM, FMU FMU the original Pixoc was called FMU version 2 that was further classified into the original Pixoc Pix Falcon in the HK Pirate 32 the latest and the newest trend of the Pixel family is the FMU V5 which, which is classified into Pixel 4 and the Pixel V5. And all the members of the Pixel family differ from one another in the terms of usage, applications, features and specifications as well. And the Pixel 2 of all of them it is the most reliable and the most uh, most of the users go for it and in the upcoming slide I will be telling you why so this is the representation of the Pixel family the FMU V2, the FMU V3, the FMU V4 or Pro then finally the FMU V5 under the FMU V2 family comes the original Pixel, Pix Falcon and the HK Pirate 32 <coughs> and the FMU V3 comes Pix Hack, Pix 2.1 and the Pix Hack V3 and the Pix 2.1 is the most trusted and the most used Pix ever because it's based on the original Pixel design and everybody loves the tried and tested version and they improve upon it. Pix the Pix Racer and the Pixel 3 Pro comes under FMU V4 or V4 Pro. Last but not the least, the latest trend in the V family is the FMU V5 and it is classified into two the Pix 4 and the Pix Hack V5. So, pick, we are going to talk about the Pixel 2.1. So, as I told you, it is one of the most used by the users as because of its design. It is totally based on the original Pixel design. And the original Pixel design was designed by Philip Browse, who was then working with the 3DR, one of the major contender in the Pixel distribution sector. Later on, 3D art uh, got out of business due to some circumstances and then the Philip Browse founded Profit CNC and later on Profit CNC brought us the Pixel 2.1 or the Pix or the Q. And as I told you, the Pixel 2.1 or the Cube is the most uh, reliable and the first choice of many users. Why? But why? Because they offer massive support and are easily accessible whenever you need. The team of the Cube, the support team is easily accessible to social media sites and handles. Their customer support replies very well. So, whenever a user is in need, they are there. Based on the tried and tested design, committed to world development, there are many versions of the cube in the market and they are committed to world developing more and more versions of the cube. The autopilot support or the Ardu pilot. See, the Ardu pilot community has been backing the picks of 2.1 till now. They are, they are updating, they are giving updates on the Pixel 2.1 though it is older than the present version they are still updating on it 
So there must be something. There must be some reasons why they are doing so. It is based on the original design of the pig sock with a massive improvement in the senses, the layout of the controller and the inclusion of softboard to make it attachable up to the, on the board. The baseboard is chosen on the basis of application. The cube is further classified into various parts and are represented through different colors. The black is for the general usage or the DIY builder. The green is for spoilers. Solo specific addition, the purple is for the port or rover application, the yellow and orange view is for the developers and the system builders. And they are planning to launch more and more colors option into the market. The carrier board, a cube itself is a flight controller and every flight controller needs a carrier, carrier board to handle the external connection. Originally, there were two versions of the carrier board, one with the antenna in the descent in the base and one without any options. And now, nowadays, in the carrier board, the internal addition is obsolete standard base board come with the DF7 that has the connector for the PW output or the power output, A12C, GPS dual power input, console connection. The mini carrier board is also available in the market from the Prophecy and C. That's the company of the Philip of Philip Browse. So now we are going to talk about the latest trend, the Pixel 4. The Pixel 4 is an open source autopilot system oriented towards inexpensive autonomous aircraft. The low cost and the availability enables the hobbyists to use in the small, small remotely piloted aircraft as well. Uh, like me as a student, we go for a quality, but it should be under the price. So, most of the users choose Pixel 4 or Pixel 2.1. The Pixel 4 allows a remotely pilot aircraft to be flown out of sight. The project started in 2009 and is still being developed further. Supported hardware for the Pixel 4 is Pixel C UAV and the Cube. Features of the Pixel 4 These are the best ma maintained board with the software support. Flexibility is in the terms of hardware peripheral that can be attached. Highly quality, high quality built, highly customizable in the term of form factor, well tested and stable this widely used, automated update of latest firmware via G ground control. Connectors, this is the general representation of a big sock board which, uh, which is produced by 3DR you can see here. So uh, there are the DSM receiver, telemetry, radio telemetry input, te uh, uh, on-screen display telemetry input, USB, SPI, the serial peripheral interface bus, so the power module, buzzer, GPS, etc, etc. The lower part consists of the input, output reset button, the SD card, the flight management reset system and the micro USB port. And the main part is the radio controller receiver input and the S bus output, main outputs, auxiliary output. These are the outputs for which these are the main things in that room. So now mount and orient controller. As I told you, uh, nowadays the one of the most one of the best advantages is advantage is that since uh, the Pixel 2.1, they are they are, they have added the foam square or to the corners of the board to to make it attachable to the board of the drone. And the earlier Pixel don't come with this option. Didn't come with this option. Nowadays, the GPS is also there. The GPS 
is attached to a GPS port using six wire cable supplied in the kit as well. The power, the power module supplies to the flight controller with power from the battery and also sends information about the analog current, current and the voltage supplied. You can also uh, see the current and voltage supplied on your remote devices if you do connect your if you do connect your remote device and the drone together using uh, radio controls radio control a radio control gives the operator the power to control the their drone or uv manually through any remote like a rc car To get things working, you must select a compatible transmitter or a receiver and then bind them together to make them communicate with each other. Telemetry radios. Telemetry radios are used in like military drones and delivery drones and where uh, the operator is in uh, ground station and the, uh, the drone is in the field. The telemetry radios are used to communicate and control a vehicle in a flight from a ground station. One radio must be connected to your vehicle and the other is connected to your ground station or a computer device. So, conclusion. The Pixhawk is highly recommended for general use like hobby building, DIY projects, school projects, etc. etc. And the Pixhawk to the Pixhawk or the Pixhawk 2.1 is one of the most used flight controller because of its reliability and extensive support. The cubes provide the cube provide ease to the user in helping him or her to choose flight controller according to their need or purpose of the drone.